G'day guys, how are you? In today's video I'm going to show you how you can make a random math equation um, in Visual Basic uh, and the goal of this is obviously to answer the equation and what's going to happen is two numbers are going to be randomized every time once the answer is correct or wrong and yeah, we're going to plus those together to create a little game I suppose so let's get to it. I'm going to get three text boxes one, two, three. I'm just going to make this fairly simple just for the sake of the video. We get a button. That will be our answer button. And we need some labels just so, yeah, we're not too lazy. So, label one. Um, I'll copy that and paste the label there. So, this can be our plus. And this one can be our equals, and these can be from the center. Yeah, you got me started. Um, 14, I suppose. Yeah, I knew it would do that. I just knew it would. All right, so just so you guys can see at home what's happening. That'll do. Whatevs. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to double click on the background to trigger the load event, form load event, and yeah, I'm going to type in dim. Uh, what will I type in? Random one, I guess, as a new random. Round two as new random. Dim. Uh, Result zero equals round one dot next, which will basically what numbers do you want to pick from to be randomized? Um, dim, to be doing two sums, we want to have a result one equals round two dot next. What numbers? Well, we'll just say between one and fifteen. After that, uh, dim total equals results plus now the reason why we have to do the results when we can't stop in random is because you can't make a random into a string but you can go from an to a string which is what I've basically done so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in text plus one dot text equals result zero. If I'm to type in random uh, two or one, it won't work, which I can demonstrate just now. It doesn't like it. It says right there, value type random cannot be converted to string, so I'm going to go with result one. After that, um, what can I say? Uh, I'm probably going to need another label, I reckon. I'm making this just now, so yeah, there's probably going to be mistakes. We can say um, label 3.txt equals total. So technically, when I start this program now, it should, yeah, okay, cool. So 2 plus 2 is telling the answer, then he's 4. Now we have to tell that, hey, if this text box equals this, then, you know, hooray. So double click on the button to trigger the click event for the button. And, um, yeah, we can start to do the magic. I'm going to put this here in public just to see what happens. Okay. So you could probably technically write um, if textbox 3.txt equals label 3.txt then uh, message box dot show um, hello world um, else 
Message box that show. <laughs> I don't really know. Goodbye world. Now what you could do is you could technically make like a sum where you could keep track, I suppose, but just for this tutorial we're gonna go through uh, just, I think just um a simple way. I mean you guys can ask questions if you want to know how to keep track of your score or whatnot. But yeah, let's see how this goes. So 21 is the answer. Hello world. So it's correct. Great. So that's good. So now what we can do is um you know, I'll show you how to make a score, dim score as an integer, and we can say that it equals zero, and we are going to need another label, this will be label four. So label four will be our high school, so um, if it's correct, then yeah, we can tell them that, hey, label 4 dot text equals score. Um, so we'll just say score plus equals 1. That should add it up. And if it doesn't work, then goodbye world. So 20 is the answer again. Didn't count that time. 20. Interesting. Sums aren't changing. That would be because we need to put these here. And I'll put these down here. Cool. Let's try that again. Seven. There we go. Five. 18, 20, 4, 8, and so on. Now what we can probably do, I suppose, instead of having to click the button every time, because it's kind of annoying, is we can press the enter button that will do it for us. So to do that, we're going to type in me dot key preview equals true. Now doing that, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the form events and we're going to key key down, I think it is. We'll just say if e dot keys if e dot key code sorry equals enter then button one dot perform click. There we have it. So now what this is telling us is hey if Three, five. I can press enter now. And there we have it. It's making a really annoying noise. Three. I think we can do sub press for that to get rid of that annoying sound. I believe you go um, e dot sub press equals true. I think this gets rid of that sound. See the noise is now gone, so sorry. Subpress goes into the if statement as well, but yeah, really cool that that noise is gone. Now, if you want to change the numbers of what it's randomized between, you definitely can. We'll just say 99, so the second number is going to be really high technically, although that doesn't look high to me, and so forth. Um, what you do too is rather than having this person click onto that button you could say well, this is the first that the tab index should go to so doing that there we have it we're now the first one goodbye world Oops, what's going on there there we go and there we have it so yeah 
I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please comment and subscribe. Um, I'm sorry about some of the mistakes that I made, but I've just decided to make this start off the bat and just, yeah, hopefully it can help somebody. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.